Okay, so we're doing a log crawl example in the parking lot at Camp Sinawa. And one of the things that we try to do to strategize building a good log crawl is you want crawlability right inside the actual log area as well. A lot of times what happens is folks will make these huge logs and they'll just keep putting big, big logs all the way across. Well, once you are up on the plateau, there's no crawlability left on top of the, of the log itself. So a good strategy is put some uh, beginning logs here to kind of hold it together. You can see we have a kind of a hollowed out log in the beginning. This is gonna crush down, we know it's gonna crush down. So this is gonna compact real nice. Then we have a large, a small log, large log, small, small, large. So what we're trying to do is create that crawling on top of the log crawl itself. Another good thing to do is to stake these down or have some way to secure them, either by digging them in a little bit to, to hold them in place so that when somebody's tire goes on top, it doesn't just rip the log out and shoot it to the next person behind them. Um, logs are very difficult in this fashion. A lot of times what they'll also do is cut notches out of the bottom so that the log is only is flat on one side to hold it down. There's a lot of different strategies depending on how far you can get into the soil and what type of time and machinery you have available as well. So you can see Dick here using the grapple bucket to strategically place everything so it interlocks. And then we are going to pull everything to one side over here. So we use log crawls like this as an educational tool to help people get up on top of this while we can still watch from the parking lot area and give new people the basics of how it's done so that they can watch and learn before they apply that knowledge out on the trail. Obviously we don't have really, really big stuff out on the trail for beginners. You gradually progress as you're comfortable with it and as your machine is capable, the vehicle itself has enough clearance to do this type of obstacle. So, it's always a progression.